What's good, everybody? Welcome back to game two of my OT series, round six versus Zachary. Um, so game one, my mic was kind of fucked up in the beginning, so it was kind of low. So hopefully Doc fixes that in editing. But yeah, looking at the team, um, this is a cool team. Oh yeah, game one team was built by Ray. All of these teams are built by Ray. I'm so sorry, LOL. So shout out to him. This is another really cool team with uh, DD Zard, I mean SD Zard with Flame Charge, AV McGearna, uh, I think it's Z Fight Torn, um, Fast Lefties Lando with Rocks, uh, Metronome Hydra with Dark Pulse Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Scarf Superior. There were other versions of this team, but I just like this version a lot more. So turn one, he leads with Gren. I want to scout for the Z ground there because he has a lele so like he might be easy ground but i guess it was kind of stupid like i just lost a lot of momentum there for no reason really so he brings out his lele here and um i just go into my magirna as he psy shocks so now i just pre predict the lando to come out and i flare cannon as he weakens my magirna and um as you can already tell if my magirna gets weakened which it is happening right now. Ice Beam is really scary from his Scarf Gren. And uh, yeah, I don't really have a switch in because I don't think that's not a uh, specs damage, so I don't even know if it's choice or not. So I'm basically forced to stay in here. And just sack off my um, Magirna for. Just trading with the Lele, but I didn't really have another play, honestly. So now he's free to bring in his Kartana. At this point, I just think it's Scarf Kartana. So I'm just going to go into my Tornadus here. Because he's probably just going to knock off. So yeah, just Ice Beam completely destroys me now. And it's just not really looking too good right now. Uh, cause I, cause if he ever gets up rocks like my Zard, it's like a roll to kill my Zard, and I Zard's basically my win con, cause it kind of goes in, cause it's SD flame charge. So he knocks up there, re reveals that he's banded. So now I am free to go into my Landorus here. I think I go into my Lando. I could have also went to Hydreigon, but um, I think I just wanted to get up rocks, and. Didn't think that my health was that important on Lando. Because it's just going to get... Okay, okay, I do go into my Hydreigon. Okay. Yeah, my Lando doesn't have a lot of... It's like 303 speed. Like enough speed for Joe. Which is... I really like it, but... um, It's obviously not going to appreciate Bandit Knockoff. So here... um, Pretty sure I just go into my... I, I either stay in or I just go into my Lando. Because I'm just kind of scared of U-turn out into um, Scarf Grin because it claims a kill. So I think I just, yeah, I just stay in. Um, Yeah, so he goes into his Rotom. I'm just going to weaken this for my Zard. So uh, I could kill it at plus two Dragon Claw. And now he brings back his... Kartana and goes for Smart Strike, and that does so much. But Lefties is pretty nice uh, for this. It's really good for Zygarde and um, also Kartanas because this team's kind of weak to those. So there, I HP Ice. I should have never done that. I think I should have always just went Torn. I kind of just um, tunnel visioned and like wanted to get off damage for Zard, but. My priority was definitely keep off rocks, because I just get swept by Ice Beam, basically. There, I sack my gear and I to 6%. And I go into my Serpure. Just, uh, I know I can live one, so I'm just going to try to scare him out. And I glare, and now it's looking really bad. I'm basically going to hope he gets full paired here, so I can defog. But he just bullet punches, 
and now I'm just kind of forced to go out into my Lando because I definitely want to keep this to try to defog later. Because Zard is basically my only shot, but it, it actually has a pretty good shot versus him. Because Lando's weakened. Um, if I get up rocks, I mean, if I get rocks off, then Grin can't kill me with Rock Slide or any other move. So there he gets paired, which really sucks actually, because I should have just, I guess I should have just stayed in, but like you can't really predict paras. So I go back hoping for another para, because I don't really have another play here. And I go into my Zard and I SD on up as he gets paralyzed. But at this point, I think he's, uh, I just assume that he's Rock Slide. So I can't really do anything there. I guess maybe turn 19, instead of SDing, I could have flame charged, but I still think it's like a roll to kill Scizor. Because if I got two boosts, then maybe I could have won. Yeah, maybe, but pretty sure Scizor still dies in one flame charge hit. But I sort of expected him to switch there too, into his Lando. And that could have eaten two, or switched into Rotom. So I definitely just wanted a SD there. It's just hard to look back in hindsight. So now, I just his only play is Gren, basically, because if he goes anything else, I just get a flame charge. And I sweep him from there, because everything is basically dead, and he can't really intimidate Shuffle, because I don't really need my attack boost anymore. Since Rotom's at like 30, it's not I Papa Berry. Uh, Lando's at like 20, or not 20, it's probably at like 30 or something, I can't remember. So, here he's thinking. I don't know r really what he's thinking about. I think he's just calcing versus uh, my Charizard. Him thinking that long, I guess I should have assumed that um, he was gunk shot. Uh, he was not Rock Slide, but he does reveal the gunk shot there. And um, if he was Max Attack, that was a. It was still a roll, but I think it was in his favor. And if he was um, like the standard 80 special attack with like 176 gunk, it was a roll in my favor, or like slightly in my favor. It's like a 48% roll. I don't even know. So actually, yeah, I think I think for a long time here. So let me just pull up that because it does end up being um, not max attack because he puts the calc in the chat. So. Gunk shot. It does 45 to 53, and I was at 50. So, 43% chance to Oko. So, yeah. Um, also, my HP is wrong on Zard, so I could have had a better chance to live that. But my HP was messed up there. And I took 50% exactly from rocks instead of taking 49. So, I don't know, it's just my fault, just overlooking that in the team builder. So, I'm just thinking here. I'm just trying to think if I have any outs. I'm just calculating the gunk shot. Trying to blame my loss on something, I guess. And I think I just come to the conclusion that I have to go Serp and hope he stays in on a choke. And I can try to paralyze him as he misses gunk shot. So yeah, I just ask him, because basically I think I lost here, so I just want to find out what his set is, or his spread. <clears throat> yeah, he's going to put it in the chat later on. But yeah, just thinking here, I do end up going out into my Serp though. Yeah, it was a 43% chance, but like... Also, you can poison me, so like it's basically a 50 50. Like, I can't really complain about that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring out John Banana. Shout out to Verrupt. And I'm just gonna click Glare here. I'm gonna hope he stays in, thinking I might be like a Z move superior. Because, like, I didn't show lefties. So basically I can only be Scarf, which is like, I thought it was really obvious, which I am. 
or Z move, which like isn't really a thing, but like I guess it could be a thing. So I'm just gonna hope he stays in, thinking I'm sub Z move, and he can't he can't let me sub at all. But uh, it's fairly obvious that I'm scarf, just from looking at the team and just looking at how I played it and how lefties was not revealed. So yeah, 45 to 53 is the roll. I say odd damn, but like can't really complain because that plus the pair chance. And also he got paired with Scizor, so that would have put me in range of gunk shot. So I can't really complain at all about that sequence. So yeah, Sakri's thinking here of whether he wants to risk the gunk shot or or risk me being sub and switch out. So he does end up risking the gunk shot, and I do paralyze him. And that gives me just a glimmer of hope, because now my serve outspeeds everything, and it's obviously a really big threat, because Kartana is not a grass resist on the special side. So here I go, Lando. The para? I'm trying to think. The para was actually kind of bad. I mean, not the para, the poison there. Cause you'll see later, um, here I think I just Earthquake. Yeah, I was having not really internet issues, not really internet issues, but my uh, shutdown was just kind of restarting randomly. As you can see with my timer. So yeah, people are saying it was a choke in chat, but like, you can't really, I don't know. It's hard to say, like, because if I was sub Z move there, like, people would have been saying switching out was a choke. But, I don't know. Yeah, Sakurai is explaining himself in chat. So he goes into his Lando here, and he switches out into his Rotom. And so now, basically, I just want to sack my Lando to poison to get my Serp in and start boosting. So this is why the pair was kind of, I mean the poison was kind of bad because like I could be getting like all the way back up with my lefties at this point. But instead I'm just gonna have to trade uh, Lando for this Rotom here as I do Toxic. At this point, Sakri does not lose unless I crit, but I guess he doesn't see that just yet. I'll just explain that later on when we get to it. But here, I'm pretty sure I just toxic the Rotom because I can't really touch it, and um, I don't know. It didn't really matter what I clicked here, honestly. Like HP, Ice, Earthquake, Rocks, Toxic. It doesn't really matter what uh, one bit. So he's thinking of how to play this end game and trying not to lose to Serp. I'm trying to think about how to win with it. Which um Yeah, I have HP fire too, so I can I can uh use that against the card if he wants to stay in on my Leaf Storm. So yeah, I just toxic there. As he just defogs there. Kind of um I don't know, it's, it was kind of a weird play. He should have probably just kept bolt switching or even will o wisps I don't even know. He should have just Volt switched. And there he makes a really good play and goes into his cart as he doesn't want to let my Serp in for free. So I go into my Serp here. As, um... So yeah, I am max special attack Serp and I know he doesn't want to risk me being HP fire, which I most likely, like, definitely am on Scarf Serp. So I guess it's like sort of a 50-50 here if I want to Leaf Storm or HP Fire, but he should always switch out and sack. In order to scout my move. Because it does Cartano does live a plus two 
Leaf Storm. And here, Sakura goes into his Lando, and he pops his Eye of Pop Berry as I Leaf Storm. And that allows me to get two boosts. So here he chokes, sadly. He chokes extremely hard. His play was always to Sakura out him there, because it only allows me to get one boost. And then, that makes it so um, Kartana can live. Because plus two does only 68 to 80. And he knocks me out with Smart Strike. Yep, Smart Strike does 78 to 93. And so, yeah, I just Leaf Storm again. He just had to hope I missed there. And yeah, he just forfeits. I was kind of being a dick, like I said, oh bet. I guess maybe he just forgot about his item. And um, he allowed me to get an extra boost there. So yeah, um, it kind of really wasn't good for Sakri. Like, the whole chat was kind of saying choke about his plays and he didn't even like he played like really well up to that point he just like had a like a lapse of judgment i guess just maybe forgot about his item as i said and um yeah so now i have a chance to uh play a game three when i should not have so that's pretty good i'm pretty lucky i guess so um we'll see you on game three as you see appears right there see you guys